Oh hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you some Christmas tales. Let's begin. Wait, why do you get to tell the stories? Because I'm a better storyteller and I brought the fireplace and chair. No, I want to tell a tale. Okay, how about I tell one and you tell one and then we see which is best. Okay then. Okay, let's begin. Great, one day till Christmas and I forgot to get Spongebob a gift. I hope he didn't get me anything good. Oh hey Gary, I'm just wrapping Patrick's gift. It's a new Wybox Z5. Cost only like $400. There's gotta be something Spongebob will like. <gasps> That's it! I'll get Spongebob a car! Whoa Patrick, cool car. Who's it for? Funny you'd say that, because this car is for... Well, I mean, it can't be for me, since I don't even have my license. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's, uh, uh... What do you mean I can't return a car? Well, we wouldn't make money if people returned stuff. Well, there's only one thing to do with an unwanted car. Hmm, there's got to be something good for Spongebob. I bet by now he's gotten me an even better gift. Hey Gary, I thought it would be weird to give Patrick a Y box without any games, so I got him a whole bucket of games. I guess I'll never find a good gift for SpongeBob. Oh my guppies, it's the 1047X Jellyfishy Net, only seven were ever made. It's beautiful. Well, I see you like the net. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, I'm Jeff. I'm the one selling the net. Oh, great. So how much is it? Ten thousand dollars. What? I don't have that kind of cash. Sorry, but if you don't have the money, my job here is done. My mother told me to never steal, but in this case, I must. It's time for crime! Oh, fish paste. Oh, uh, hey mom, can you bail me out of jail? <coughs> yeah, I know. Stealing is wrong. I'll never be able to afford this net. Of course, I'll just have to sell my car. Oh no, somebody already took it. But who would do that? <laughs> Yahoo! I'll never get $10,000 so quick. A stupid lottery. I never win. That's it. I just need to win the lottery. Whoa, a white box and some games? Thanks, SpongeBob. No problem, Patrick. Now let me get your gift. Uh, uh, yeah. Now open it. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. The 1047X jellyfishing net? Patrick, how did you afford this? Well, let's just say it was a Christmas miracle. End. Huh, you called that a story? Let me tell you a real Christmas tale. A uh, bikini bottom, holiday season. Ah, Christmas season. A time to be cheery, not a need for being mean or worry. It's time to laugh, not shed a tear. It's time to be happy, cause Santa's here. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Rhyme. Here's your mail. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Cool, an invitation to a flea market in Tentacle City. Hmm, I guess it would be nice to get Squidward some clarinet-shaped earrings. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing on this fine holiday? Sit back, relax, and do nothing. Well, I got an invitation to a flea market, and I'm going to go so I can get some more presents for people. Gosh, what's so good about the gift of giving? Well, let me step into a musical number, shall I? Oh, no, not this again. The gift of giving always warms my heart because you get cool things for people to resort to. If they're feeling sad, you can make them glad by the gift of giving. is good for everyone. Okay. So, if we're going to go to that flea market, aren't we going to need a boat to get there? Oh, 
We don't need a boat where we're going. Mr. Krabs, please let me take the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, I'm sorry, but you don't have your license. I have a license, but I also don't have an IQ over 40, so... Patrick, I'm not letting you drive the paddy wagon. You've seen me drive this before. I'm careful with it. SpongeBob, the only moment you were careful with it was the first five seconds you were in it. I'll get you a present for Christmas. Arrgh! It's not like that. I just don't want you to see you get hurt, that's all. You see, on Christmas there are a lot of people riding, and someone could get smashed by it. I'll get you some money. Be back by five. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. We'll be careful with the paddy wagon. Patrick, look out! Patrick, look out! Okay, Patrick, back up. Careful. Oh, no, Patrick, look out for that silly device! Whoa! Hey, look out where you're going! Ah! ah, Patrick, the wind blowing in our hair. I think we're becoming men. Yeah, we're totally living on the wild side. Hey, Patrick. Yo, yeah, SpongeBob? Do you even know where we're supposed to be going? Not a clue. Well, have a look at this map. We have to go as fast as we can. I'm having a Christmas party tonight, and I don't want to miss it. All right, this calls for drastic measures. Um, Patrick, why did you stop? Two words, SpongeBob. We're out of gas. Oh, no. I guess we're just going to have to travel by foot. Uh, oh. I'm fine. Well, SpongeBob, it looks like we've reached our destination. Um, Patrick, we're in the middle of nowhere! Oh no! I left my turkey sandwich on the table! On the table! For all I know, Squidward could be eating it! Oh, even Squidward wouldn't do something like that. I bet you could see that joke coming from a mile away. Uh, I feel dehydrated. There's no more hope. Nothing else to live for. I know, not even a tiny piece of sponge cake. <laughs> Patrick, what are you looking at? Yummy! Sponge cake, sponge cake, sponge cake! Wait, it's only been two minutes! It's only been two minutes! Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Squidward. Do you know where SpongeBob is? No. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Are you going to SpongeBob's party tonight? Is it at my funeral? Ha! Huh? You silly! Well, it's at five. I wonder where SpongeBob is. His party starts in half an hour. Don't know. Don't care. Hmm. It's five o'clock and SpongeBob isn't back yet. Maybe I should call him. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Oh no, looks like I should go find the lad. Patrick, is it me or is it getting colder? Well, my smartphone says it's two degrees below Fahrenheit. Wait, Patrick, you have a phone? You can call someone to get us. Great idea, buddy. <phone rings> Hello? Mr. Krabs? Patrick? Great to hear your voice, lad. I've been trying to call SpongeBob all day. Why did you call me? I don't have your number. What? But we've been friends for like 17 years. Patrick, just tell him where we are. Hello? Hello? Oh no, the battery in my phone is dead. I probably should not have watched all those cat videos while we were walking. I've got to save SpongeBob and Patrick. Better get my winter coat. Great, I must have left my winter stuff at home. Oh well, this will have to do. Patrick? Yes, yeah, SpongeBob? Before we die, I want to let you know I was the one who lost your pet, Rock Rocky. We were on a walk and he just ran away. It's okay. I'm the one who lost Gary. What? Gary's not lost. Then who snail did I lose? SpongeBob! Patrick! Did you hear that? It sounded like... A robot! I was going to say Mr. Krabs. No, look! A robot! Yay! We're saved! Hop on, boys! 
So Mr. Krabs rode SpongeBob and Patrick back to SpongeBob's house, where everyone waited. They celebrated the night with happiness and cheer, with presents and games. And on that day, well, in Bikini Bottom, they say Squidward's heart shrunk three sizes that day. Well, time to play my clarinet. Great. Who could that be? Listen, if you're here to get the sofa, I already sold it. Huh? Huh, I wonder what's in here. No way! Clarinet-shaped earrings? The end. You see, that's what I call a Christmas tale. Now let's have some fruitcake. I do not disagree that your story was great, but all the fruitcake I did ate. In that case, goodbye everyone, and Merry Christmas.